Hello there, dear friends. Thank you for coming along with this video. Bear me a second. For once, I'm doing a poetry recital on two cameras. So I need to uh, stretch and... Hopefully that one is recording as well. Uh, hello. Um, now, because I'm recording on two cameras, I have fervent apologies. You're going to be hearing the word fervent again in a minute. Um, normally I like to make eye contact with you, so we're in front of each other. Uh, but obviously I'm talking to two people at this moment in time. Uh, my name is Paul Murphy, and um, this is... Uh, it's a brand new song written... <laughs> written, uh, I don't know, 15 seconds ago, maybe. I guess I think I stopped typing the last word in. Um, and um, what is rare for me is that normally I write a new song, and as you, as you know, if you follow me, uh, then it's straight up and cameras set up, guitar on, and out it comes. And this is the first time in well over 40 years of songwriting um, that I can think of that, that hasn't happened, apart from the occasions where I'm writing multiple songs, or the infamous Lost Lyrics ones where I write the song and lose them and come back to them 30 years later. Uh, the reason is simple, um, my legs are now um, so paralysed that even the leg braces aren't holding me um, up, um, which is a very unpleasant start to the day to discover that. We all know it was coming, but anyway. Um, and I'm also going to do something, I do have music to this as well, which is annoying, but uh, uh, um, what I'm about to read to you has not been edited, it's just how it's come out of my head. So, um, I may, um, if I'm able to do more with this later on, it may be rejigged, uh, extras might come in. I'm also going to do something else very different uh, on here, um, which is, um, one thing about my songs is, um, this is an observation, not a criticism, um, but when I... I wrote a song a while back called Thank You For Calling Our Charity and detailing my disappointment, shall we say. You see what a nice guy I am, really, you know. How I've watered that down with certain charities. And I won't say I got a lot of flack for it, but pro rata, I did get some comments about it. Charities do wonderful work, blah, 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 blah. Not to denigrate them, I said blah 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 because I'm speeding things up here a little bit. Um, as I say, it's a very small quantity. But I mean, if I write a love song, for instance, I might get I might get 30 comments back saying I love you, new love song, and this is this touched me, and I lived this, etc. etc. Um, um, but when uh, I put that one up, I got many many comments back. Sort of complimenting my singing and talking about my singing, but I did get five comments back saying, I do wonderful work, it's a hard job, and they fill a gap, etc., etc. If there's one thing you know about me, is I don't write about things I don't know anything about, okay? Um, if you go through my Bitter Realities book, I wrote about the homeless because I was homeless for so many years. I wrote about drug addiction because I live with drug addiction. I buried band members who were drug addicts and couldn't stop themselves. I write, this is just the Bitter Realities book at the moment, you know, I write about teenage prostitution because I lived with young girls who had nothing else to do to raise money to survive, um, but to sell themselves to men that probably had... A, Going off on a tangent here, I'm going back to revisiting so many times before that song that I wrote about those girls. Many had daughters the age of they were pulling up in their posh cars. Uh, you know, I observed it all if you go up through to the Songs of Injustice book, which came out earlier on this year. Uh, was it today? 30th of June. So it came out maybe four months ago. And I touched on matters then. Um, where did the children cry? I saw the bruises on that child 
I described in that work there, you know. So, I'm happy with criticism, and if you don't agree with what I'm about to read, that's fine. I'm just telling you what I, myself, have experienced. The screen's just gone blank. I'll put some glasses on here. Just as well, because the bags on my eyes are pretty bad. On Thursday, the 15th of June, at 10.47 a.m., I sent that email with photographs on. And I sent it to five organizations. I sent it to an infant school. Oh, goodness me, so sorry. <laughs> My kinder just flashed up. Matron. I sent it to a school. I copied it to a male domestic abuse organization. I copied it to, a, I want to use air quotes, but I'm not going to, to a children's charity. And I copied it to the safeguarding unit of the Church of England in the city I'm talking about. That was on the 15th of June. Ten days later, a delivery driver that I'd arranged to deliver food to children, two young children, went to their door with the food delivery. And an eight, sorry, now a nine-year-old girl had to say to him through a letterbox, we can't take the food. Mummy's gone out. We're locked in the house. We're on our own, and Mummy's taken the key with her. And that man had to get back in his van and drive away, so the food never got delivered either. That occurred ten days after I contacted all these organisations, and that wasn't the first contact. They were first contacted in October 2020. And now, my new song. It is called Fervent Charity. Um, if you know your King James Bible, well, I'll tell you where to look. In any case, it's Peter 4.8, if you want to know where the title came from. This just poured out of me this morning. This just poured out of me. <laughs> you can't disappoint all those ones. Well, this is a very rare one for me in that I've written it direct to the PC because the words were coming so fast and there will probably be some more. Fervent charity. We rattle our tins at passers-by and con their generosity. We give them the hard stare in the eye and say, it's for charity. We don't tell them where it's spent. <laughs> Or how much we get paid. And if they knew how little good we do, man would they be dismayed. We stick our ads on the TV. Please watch this heartbreak tale. If you don't send us a big watch now, your soul will go to jail. Why not make it a standing order? Don't think you can't afford it. Now I've put your conscience in debt. Only giving can reward it. We'll headline all the good we do and put the semantics in small print behind subterfuge and obfuscation enough to make your poor brain squint. We'll tell you what we want it for but don't ask how it's spent. We'll tell you how much we need today but not where yesterday's went. You're worried about the boy next door? He's always covered in bruises? We won't investigate if you've told us before. Hey, don't ask us what our use is. Our name 
priority is how fast we can pass the buck. It's great to be a registered charity ignoring children who are sitting ducks. If you're a victim of domestic abuse, call up our hotline. What's that you say? You've called before that this is the 13th time? But sir, we made a referral. Well, it's true, we didn't follow it through. You took our advice and lost your kids? Oh dear. Boom hoo hoo. Please don't ask why things never change. It's all out of our hands. Our admin costs are off the scale. That's what nobody understands. You can't expect us to work for free. That comes before the work we should do. I guess you just didn't give us enough. If we fail, then it must be down to you. You can call a sanctimonious scum. You won't be the first. So that don't bug us none. Go ahead and say your worst. We're cocooned by indifference and funded by naivety. We've got over 10 million in our account and all of it tax free. Thank you for reporting your abuse. We're grateful for your call. Now we're going to ship it off to social services who will tell your mommy it all. You thought that we would help you? Oh no, you're out of luck. Mummy's boyfriend's touching you up. We don't give a... We like to think on the broader scope. That way we can obscure the facts. We take your details and pass them on to all the people you've paid a fortune in tax. We've got a stack of gold in the bank, so we're sitting pretty. You say your abuser's hitting you again. Oh, isn't that a pity? What don't any of you get yet? Huh, we can't help laughing at you. Let me explain to you, people, in words of one syllable or two. You contact us with your tale of woe, and we just forward your call on. We don't do anything practical to help. Now get your hand in your pockets, huh? Have you paid tax for 50 years, and now you're sitting home cold and alone? Well, we are too busy helping junkies get high. Maybe the same ones that ransacked your home. The more you give, the less you get. That's how this system works. What you see is what you get. Inept, inefficient jerks. Look at our lovely offices. Everything new and shiny. Where we sit and listen to your howling problems and make all of our own seem tiny. Well, I've listened for 20 minutes now. I've got a call coming in, so goodbye. Yes, I know I've done nothing to help you. God, all you people ever do is cry. <laughs> Look at our weeping poster boy. Please help us change his situation. Call it requesting of your kindness. Don't call it emotional exploitation. Look at this poor little puppy. See how our poster has its sad eyes directly staring? A lot of thought went into pulling on your heartstrings, so don't tell us we're uncaring. Why do you keep calling me? What do you expect me to do? I've got problems of my own, you know. One of them is you. We've been running for a hundred years now. And look at our success rate. Count the dead children. Count the frozen pensioners. Count the times we only acted too late. Sorry, our church can't help you. But you believe in the wrong God. 
No one's killed more children than the Lord. Don't you think that's somewhat odd? Rest assured, we will listen. But that's all we intend to do. Now get down on your knees in the back room and see what comes over you. Don't talk to us about respect. We don't know the meaning of the word. Don't talk to us about pretend, preventing cruelty to children. It's just a concept. Have you not heard? Don't you dare cross our red line. Don't concern us with your age. Don't look at our don't ignore us please ads and don't realize that they are all staged. Poverty, homelessness, blah, blah, blah. You're living in fear and despair, beatings and abuse, wah, wah, wah. You've waited three months for a wheelchair. I hate to interrupt, but I've done my shift. I've got a party tonight, so I've got to dash. My advice to you is set up a charity and sit back can't count to cash. Must be kind of jinxed. The other camera didn't record that. It just backed up halfway through. So that's my new song. It's called Fervent Charity. And that is a true story based on my experiences. My experiences. That is a true story. Okay. Peace and love.